Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple notification. As you can see, this is the chapter which I've handed out to you guys. Um, for the notification, there's a simple notification exercise in it which I'm going to build and show to you how to do this yourself. Okay. So a notification has these things, uh, f these five things basically. There's an icon, there's a title, and then there's a text, a timestamp when it was received and then an action that what should be done when that notification is received now not obviously this action is optional you may or may not take any action whenever a notification is received so we go straight to the android and we take this code which is basically doing what let me just tell you there's a notification uh, builder class and what it does is basically it builds a new notification by taking these uh, parameters at the title what is what is going to be uh, the title displayed on the not notification what is the text of the notification meaning the uh, uh, the content of the notification not the title so that's the content and set auto cancel if the user does not do anything it will automatically go away and an icon to show its image so if it's a whatsapp notification or uh, Facebook notification or whatever notification so based on that you supply to it the correct icon as a programmer just to show to the user so the user identifies very easily what application does it belong to okay and that's the notification now as far as the the application um, as far as the action is concerned let's say the user clicks on the notification then what you need to do you need to open the application where it belongs to so to do that there is an intent uh, which we will be creating as we have done with this before the intent so intent comes from the source which is where it is being created and which is the activity class which it should, should be opening and any extra values which you need to pass on so that's that's that basically so you need a notification builder which builds a notification and that notification holds an intent so if you see build it or set content intent what this line does it does is it passes on the intent which is called a pending intent in this case which does nothing else but just encapsulates the intent so we have we have an intent you know how to create this we encapsulate it inside pending intent so it's not it it's pending right now whenever the user clicks over it only then it will come up and build it on bid that's all so that's our code so we'll start from here and um, I'm gonna use uh, this exercise which we have created already it's got these interfaces where a user enters two variables name and weight and there's a conversion going on so what I'm gonna do is um, when I when you can click calculate instead of opening another activity I'm gonna send notification to the user so the user will see a notification in Android at the top somewhere when the user clicks on that notification then it will go to another activity which can be really another active uh, application by itself also and that activity we will be passing on the intent values and we'll open this so this application runs now fine as you have seen before I'm gonna just open this and uh, uh, give you a very short demo of what it does so yeah let it come up so we I write something here name is uh, Ali weight is let's say 70 and kilos to pounds calculate what it does is it multiplies it by 2 and displays it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass this intent to a new uh, notification instead of starting an activity so I I comment out this code because I don't need this so I, what basically I need to do is this I'll create a notification I'll create the pending pending intent uh, from this intent which I've created and then I will I'll build the notification so let's go back to your PowerPoint slides the this is the notification um, code basically which you have which does nothing but it builds it uh, let's just copy and paste and just change it a little bit over here so I am not creating a notification builder you'll be presented with these errors just import the missing classes 
right so here it says the constructor is undefined so basically it says this you have to just change this to uh, main activity dot this because right now I'm inside another sub class which is basically a view so there's no semicolon over here because this line is continuing and it is asking us for an icon we don't have the we only have one launcher icon you should be when you doing working on your projects you should be changing this to a custom icon for your project so you obviously can create a new icon and you need to place the icon images over here as I've shown to you before and I'll show it to you again later on notification manager just import it context import it please and then there there is an ID which is basically some number supposed to be so I'll just give one the ID of this application okay and then you save it that's a notification so when you run this basically a notification will be created when you click on this however what I'd like to do is I'd like to start an activity uh, when the notification is clicked so another action let me just run this and show you what happens Android application and uh, when it comes up uh, so I'm gonna write here some values calculate you see nothing happens because I've disabled the start activity here but a notification appears here okay so let me just slide this down title text because I've not given it any text let's give it a text I'm gonna give it this the same name and result so that I uh, I want to notify the user that the that your name and your weight has been converted your name this is your name and this is your weight uh, and result I'll just convert it to a string by adding another small string into it and yeah so let me just show you that over there now please notice we have not created an action yet these are the three steps which we will be doing uh, two more steps sorry this is the code I've commented out so I create a notification create pending intent build notification so let's write some value here calculate and now you see I have a notification here just slide it down Ali and 110 so it multiplies by 2 and then shows that value as a notification now let me just click here again and show you uh, nothing happens because we have not we have not uh, indicated any any action over here so let's create a pending intent here this is the code which is coming from your other slide uh, the pending intent so we have created this intent already um, this code pending intent is what we need to create and you may need to import this also and we need to supply it an intent what intent in which we have put the, the values already so this is weight intent it goes inside the pending intent which is this we are creating okay um, it says an error first of all it needs a context okay so the context as you do it in the in the toast get application context it should go away uh, I'd like to see it in one line by the way okay so just expand this a little so it looks a little better and build uh, the notification so to build the notification again your code says it has to have a uh, intent uh, set up inside its content inside the builders content this builder content okay so I'll do this builder dot set content um, intent which is this pending so I created this pending intent and I pass it on to the builder and then I build a dot build so this builder dot build is not needed here because it's needed only when you are not doing any action so now I define my action also so I say okay yes now build the, the builder for me so I'm gonna save it and see what's the uh, error here manager dot notify yeah so this code which builds the build the notification should go here and what exactly we're doing is we are creating the intent putting data inside it after the calculation uh, creating a notification uh, creating a pending intent and then we'll build the notification 
um, and inside that uh, from the notification uh, we will be actually building the set content we will be passing it in the pending uh, intent and then we will pass on this notification to the notification manager okay so this is how it is working so let me just run this and show you how things work okay this should come up it does okay and the weight is let's say five kilos to pounds and notice what happens is there's a notification coming up that is Ali 130 and I click over it and it goes to the the display results remember this is the one which I created before the weight result previously what was happening was it was taking the intent values from this activity now it is taking the intent value from from the notification because I've passed on this uh, name and result the values inside the uh, pending intent and the pending intent goes in the notification <coughs> and the notification gives all the values so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed